Radhu, uh, what do you think? The same it's, question about data. Yeah, we, data in uh, the future. Actually, it's uh, Malik. It's, it's quite uh, for us. It hits very close to home. Uh, we stopped showing off our platform. Literally, we stopped showing off our platform, and we literally use the BI solution, the business intelligence solution, and we go into meetings to the offline agents, which you just mentioned. We go into meetings and we show off the kind of data that they can get, and this is a ton of data. So I would use I would use a story to uh, to to describe how how funny data can be used. Uh, the last meeting I had before COVID started was for a, a customer in Greece. I went to their office. We discussed uh, very polite. The, the customer was growing threefold. It was a very, very, very nice interaction. At the end, I wanted to, uh, the, the owner came in, a uh, rather young individual, 40 something years of age. And then I said, let me show you something which you haven't seen, although you have the business intelligence solution from us for at least two and a half years. So I went. And I looked because it's very easy for everyone to see how many searches, how many bookings, how much profit, what are the top properties, what are the top rooms, what are the booking patterns. We have all of that. But I said, let me show you something which you don't know. So I went into our BI and I pulled out one piece of data, the worst performing destination in their system. And for a Greek company, you wouldn't imagine it was Bali. This, this particular company doing a, a few hundreds of millions of uh, revenue per year turnover mm -hmm. used to have 18,900 searches to one booking into Bali. We that's have very report. low. Whoa, that's very it's, low. It's, it's, it's abysmal. But this, is, this shows you that having data, but having the data also interpreted uh, means a lot. So I just, I just pulled out a report and said, look, this, look at this, this particular chart. Look at this, uh, this graph. I said, well, why is Bali so bad? Because a lot of the Greeks that are using your platform, plus people outside Greece who, who are using your platform, are traveling to Bali. What do I have to do? Go to this supplier, this supplier, this supplier, source some product from Bali and solve this problem. So data, uh, Bali would have never shown up in a search for uh, the, top, uh, the top book destination, in a top profit, in a top hotel, never ever. Because people were searching were not finding what they were, uh, what they wanted, and they were leaving. And for him, as a business owner in Greece, he would have never thought that his clients are searching to such a demand uh, in in a in a sort of Greek like uh, in a in a Greek like destination, which is very yeah. far away. He would have never thought about it. And within two <laughs> minutes, uh, data solved that problem. Not me. I just showed the data to him, and that's it. I just wanted to, to tell the story. I mean, eighteen thousand. There should be at least eighteen sales at minimum. <laughs> Yes, eighteen thousand to one. So we show a graph of the of of two one, uh, Paris twenty to one, London to thirty to one, and Bali had eighteen thousand searches. So most of his Bali searches, he didn't have product in in Bali. That's the power of data. I mean, data as well as the interpretation. Of course, that's the, that's the key of the of the business.